Woods is also uh, not far from us. And our drone pilot, Jenna Pinto, today giving us those great aerial shots overhead from Clover. But we first want to start with our Maureen Wirtz. And Maureen, our first story of the day, and what I really love about what comes out of these type of situations of uh, catastrophes is you see neighbor helping neighbor, but stranger helping stranger right now, and that's what Clover is all about. Yeah, Brian, one of the first things that we heard is that when people describe Clover, they say it's a town with love in its name. That's what's happening with this, those donations. You can find love everywhere here, even during the lunch rush. And this is how we make our gravy. When she's not back in the kitchen. Yep, it just don't do as good if you don't have the bacon grease. Pat Bingham. How about y'all? You doing good? Yeah, is it? Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Is out front making her loop. I sell the heck out of that every Thursday. Around Clover Station. Everybody comes here, calls it Miss Pat's. Though it's clearly a restaurant. How many plates did you want? Three. The recipes, the conversations make it feel like this. Hey! Is Ms. Pat's home. And from day one, it's been okay. Day one started just over 15 years ago when she noticed an empty storefront while passing through Clover, South Carolina. One day I was coming through Clover and the light right here stopped me and I looked over and I said, that's a little hometown place. About two or three weeks later, I came back through Clover. The light stopped me and I was right out, right even with the door. About three weeks later, it was mine. Ms. Pat had never run a restaurant before had never been trained professionally as a chef. She just loved to cook. This fulfills when you get older, you need to be content. You need to have something to do that fulfills your life. For most of her life, she ran a charter bus company with her husband until he was killed in a tragic accident. I went through the front windshield and landed out on the, the pavement. At a time when most would slow down. I try my best every day. You know, when you get up, sometimes you can decide what kind of day you're gonna have. She started over. Oh, how precious, <laughs> how precious. Now it's become. It goes by so fast. So much more than she could have hoped for. I'm 76 and I'm praying God gives me a lot more years. As long as I can, I'll be here. Because this is, this is just my compassion. When passion and love are her two main ingredients. You know, it's just made the old fashioned way. No wonder it tastes just like how mom made it. Ms. Pat loves making her rounds and connecting with everybody who comes into Clover Station, which is just over here. And I popped in and said hello just a little bit earlier, and she gave me a big hug, which is just that love feeling that is here in Clover. Brian, when I was thinking about this show last night and all these stories, I realized it's really about connection, especially... 